Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with substitution. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Negative x minus y minus 3z equals a negative 9. z equals negative 3x minus 1, and x equals 5y minus z plus 23, and we want to solve this system by substitution. First thing I'm looking at here, I see we have a z by itself already, and it only has, it's equal to one variable, the x, or something in terms of x. So what I'm going to do is actually take the third equation here, and then for z, I'm going to put in negative 3x minus 1. So let's go do that. I'm going to rewrite this third equation right here, x equals 5y minus, and instead of z, I'm putting that 3x minus 1 in for that z that's right there. You're going to see that here. And then we plus 23. Now let's simplify this as, well, much as possible. <clears throat> okay? We want to get our like terms together. We want the x's to the left, numbers to the right. So we're coming down here, x comes down, we have the 5y, and then this negative sign, let's distribute. Negative times negative 3x is a positive 3x. Negative times negative 1, positive 1. And then we have plus 23. All right. I'm now I'm going to subtract a 3x to both sides, and that gives me a negative 2x here equals 5y. Then 1 plus 23 is a 24. If I divide, divide both sides by a negative 2, that's good on parts. Now I have x completely by itself, and in fraction form we have a negative 5 halves y, and then 24 divided by negative 2 is a negative 12. So now we have x by itself in terms of y, but where can we go from here? Well, we need to, what I'm going to do now is we want to get this um, z in terms of y. So I'm going to take that equation for z up here. Again, z equals negative 3, and instead of x, I'm going to put this in terms of y. So we're trying to find x in terms of y and z in terms of y here, and then we'll be able to substitute that in later um, for <laughs> to finally get y by itself. So negative 3 is the right in front of the x, and then instead of x, I'm putting this negative 5 halves y minus 12 in, then we have a minus 1. So see how it's the same equation here, but instead of x, I have what I've also found x in terms of y. Now we want to simplify this, okay? Well, z is by itself again. Distribute the negative 3 to both parts. Negative 3 times negative 5 halves is a positive 15 halves y. Negative 3 times a negative 12 is a positive 36. And we have a minus 1. Simplify it a little bit. 15 halves stays there, y. And then 36 minus 1 is 35. So now we have z in terms of y and x in terms of y. We can now go get y by itself now. So what we're going to do is take the first equation right here. So if we can see a little crisscross here. We're going to put right this equation, but instead of x, I'm putting this equation on here we found for x in terms of y. Negative 5 halves, y minus 12. Then... We have minus here y, and instead of y, oh, sorry, <laughs> y is the variable we're looking for, so y stays there, actually. So minus y, minus 3 times our z value, which we found here, 15 halves, y plus 35, and that equals a negative 9. So I know this equation looks pretty crazy right now, but look, there's only one variable, y, meaning that we can solve for that y. So let's go for it. Distribute the negative sign here to both parts, and we have a positive 5 halves y plus 12. Then we solve a minus y here. Distribute the 3 times the 15 halves, and we have a negative or minus 45 halves. Don't forget to distribute the minus sign. Should have the minus sign again, negative 3 times 35 is a negative 105, and that equals a negative 9. All right. 
So now we want to combine our, well, like terms here. Oh, this is a y. Whoops, 45. See, I know I was going to forget something. Negative 45 halves y. If you caught that, let me know down below. So now we want to combine our like terms. Notice here that this minus y doesn't have a 2 in the denominator, but these two do. So to kind of see that, if you want to put a minus sign here, 1 is the same as 2 over 2. Now it's a little easier to see we can add our like terms y's. Okay, 5 halves minus 2 halves, which is 1, minus 45 halves comes out to be a negative 42 halves y. Then 12 minus 105 is a minus 93. That equals negative 9. We add an, uh, 93 to, oh, sorry. Yeah, add a 93 to both sides. That's my next step, and then 84. And 2 goes into 42, uh, it goes 21 times, so we have a negative 21y here. Divide negative 21 to both sides, and y equals a negative 4. After all that, we got one of our y values. All right. But now this is actually the easy part. We can get our x values and z value here. So let's go with the x value first. Since y equals negative 4, we can take this equation that we simplified and put negative 4 in for y. So x equals negative 5 halves times a negative 4 minus 12. And let's simplify. Negative 5 halves times negative 4 is a positive 20 uh, over 2 minus 12. And 20 over 2 is 10 minus 12. x equals a negative 2 here. So if x, we have y, let's go find z. Well, z by itself is right here. So we have z equals a negative 3, and we found what x equals now, negative 2, minus 1. Now we solve again for z. Simplify that out. Negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6, minus 1, and z equals 5. And so we have our three answers. We can put as a coordinate point, negative 2, negative 4, and positive 5. And that's our final answer. Z is equal, or sorry, x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 4, and z is equal to 5. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.